Melanie here with Eyes on the Game here at United Center uh, here for UFC 238 Fight Week, being joined by the one and only Mr. Tony Ferguson. Welcome back. I see you brought your belt as well. Of course, I haven't lost it. I'm still here to remind everybody I'm still the fucking champ. So, I mean, pardon the language, but champ shit only. Yes, absolutely. And I saw yesterday during your open workout, I mean, you got such a nice ovation. How did uh, that make you feel? Uh, right at home. Uh, I had butterflies going in open workouts. I think everybody's expecting me to go out there, dance, do a jig and do same kind of thing. But uh, it was nice to have that, that the fans just excited. I got to remember it's for them. It's not for me. And I'm glad everybody showed up and had a good time. Yeah, and everyone enjoyed it as well. And everyone's glad to see you back. Fighting Cowboy Cerrone, uh, you mentioned that he was the only one who was kind of brave enough to sign that dotted line. So I'm curious who else was offered to you? I don't think there was anybody else offered to me. We beat everybody's ass. I mean, there's yeah. there's only so many other people that we can have that sign on dotted line. I mean, besides the rankings, he's what, number five? I'm number two. He's got a long win streak. Uh, well, actually, what, three fight win streak? He's got a lot of uh, a lot of fights under his belt. And he's a veteran in the sport, man. I think the fight was just making sense, and uh, I think the fans needed this fight. Now, you guys are both very well-rounded. Um, how do you see this fight playing out? I'd like to be a stand-up battle. I know he's been practicing his wrestling a lot, but uh, that's my forte. That's my bread and butter. And uh, I just, I think it's just going to go maybe like, I mean, fuck, if we go the first hard for first round, it might just end the first round straight up. I mean, you know, the fans would be excited either way. They're lucky. I mean, we didn't piss each other off. So, I mean, I think there's going to be bloodshed. I, I don't know, but uh, I'm excited about this. I'm glad that he took the opportunity and we're both here to represent. So. And you mentioned you're targeting that knockout, right? That stoppage? A stoppage always for a stoppage but same thing in wrestling and freestyle wrestling you're going to outpoint your opponents and i'm an athlete so i have to go out there i want to make sure i outpoint my opponents and then put them away in fashion now what advantages do you think that you have over him conditioning yeah. straight up conditioning i mean i'm pretty uh, unorthodox when it comes to my striking it comes to my my fundamentals i train traditional uh but when i'm out there i have fun i make sure to smile i make sure everything's loose and uh, my Muay Thai is really, really good. My, my coach that's taught me Muay Thai is Muay, uh, like Muay Baran style. It's different. And he's more of a kickboxer. So when you have the battle clash of the Muay Thais, I mean, we'll see how this rolls out. Now you are riding, I believe, 11 fight win streak, very long win streak. Um, after this fight, is the title shot guaranteed? Uh, we have that somewhere in the contract, I think, pretty much. Uh, obviously, it's TBD, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like Dana's a favor of a Connor guy and the money, money talks bullshit walks. But if I go out there and I make sure I do what I got to do, do it best, and, uh, I'm going to secure that right there. What did you think of Max's fight against Dustin? Um, man, uh, I saw a bunch of holes in the game. I saw that Dustin actually, he did a lot of boxing. He found his back against the a ropes a lot. I guarantee you, trying to take a couple shots. He was against the cage a lot. I mean, picking him apart, I don't think that he's going to be able to handle Khabib uh, the same way that Max did. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to not take that fight, but I already have a belt, man. I didn't need another one. No, I think yesterday, did you say that you were a uh, coach to say no to the Max fight? At the time, yes. It was a little bit different. I mean, obviously, it was going to benefit somebody else that was inside my management. Uh, but we're, we're over past that. We're doing new, better things. Um, I'm excited, man, just to be here to be able to demonstrate what I do best, and that's to perform inside the octagon for these fans. Yes. Lastly, if, you know, Habib does beat Dustin in September and you beat Cowboy this weekend, do you think there's a big likelihood that it happens maybe, maybe end of this year or next year, early next year? It doesn't matter when it's going to happen. I know the fans are excited about it. I mean, his whole fan base in Russia turned my fans. So it's kind of crazy. Like most of my fans come from Russia and it's, uh, it's exciting. I think that this year, no matter what, I don't like to look past my opponents, look through them. Um, getting past Cowboy Cerrone, we will make that shit happen, and Tiramisu will taste my wrath. And I'm guessing it's safe to say Connor's out of the picture now, right? No way, man. I still got that dude. No, fuck McNuggets. He's the same dude. He's the same puss. I mean, straight up, but he has no balls. I mean, they're going to try to protect him as much as he possibly can, but like I said, I've increased my value, and you know what, kid? You want to dance? I got a tune for you. Do you think he'll be back? Yeah, he'll be back. He misses the game too much. I mean, there's only so much money you can make, but check it out. He's an athlete, too. I've seen some of his earlier fights. He's going to miss being inside that octagon, so we'll see how it goes. Connor or Habib uh, for you next, if you could choose. Deep dish pizza from Chicago. Yeah, that's the way to go. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.